So after uploading my last tutorial, some of you guys requested that I make a U part wig with weave that has the same texture of my DIY kinky curly clippings, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovett. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, like welcome back, welcome back, like welcome back to my channel. The hair I'll be using today is from Queen Weave Beauty, and it is their Brazilian kinky curly weave. I'll be using three bundles. The length is going to be somewhere in the screen, and this hair is gorgeous. This hair is really bouncy and it's really full. For one bundle, the amount of hair you get is just something else. So make sure you check the description box of this video for their contact information. <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you draw an outline of where you want your leave out to be and also where you want the head you know to be when you're gleaning it around. The three bundles that I'll be using came in different lengths, 18 inches, 20 inches and 22 inches and to get that you know perfect tapered look I'm going to start gluing the shortest bundle at the end and I'll keep working my way up back and forth until I get to the top. So. Let's just say I'm going to use like 18 inches at the back, 20 inches at the middle and 22 inches at the top. You get the point, right? <laughs> So at this point, I'm going to cut off that excess lace at the front and this is just going to make sure that when I put on my wig, it's going to look seamless. So now, in order to securely attach the wig, I'm going to sew some wig clips to my leave out area and also because this is an adjustable wig cap, there will be no need to sew any combs or clips you know, at the back. For those of you who are in the US or other parts of the world, I'm going to leave links to where you can get all these accessories on Amazon and Aliexpress. And for those of you who are in Nigeria, you can get all these items from wig tools. As a matter of fact, my canvas blockhead, my T-pins, you know, are all from wig tools. 
post i'm also going to put their contact information in the description box of this video so you can like put a direct call to them if you're not on instagram <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and max the residue from the glue with a waterproof liner and honestly this is absolutely optional because once you blend our hair no one's gonna see that okay <laughs> so now that we're done with that let's get to styling so in my last tutorial I went ahead and blended my leave out with my clippings without any heat but today I decided to straighten my hair and it looks way better however before applying any form of heat, please make sure that you use a heat protectant. So to blend my hair with the wig, I used the Kera Care Edge Tamer. I recently got this from my local beauty supply store and I decided to try it out today. I applied it to my hair, took out a little piece of my hair and a little section of the wig, twisted them together until I was done with the entire hair, styled my edges and you know, that was all. Doing this wig took me about an hour because I was filming, but on a normal day, all you need is about 30 minutes. All right guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful once again the hair that i used is from queen with beauty and i'm going to make sure that i put the links in the description box so if you're interested make sure you check it out i was really happy with this hair because unlike kinky curly hair that has a way of tangling this hair didn't tangle at all it didn't shed like the hair is really good so if you're looking for something that's affordable not really pricey then this is the hair for you so if you found this tutorial helpful please give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends and loved ones subscribe if you're not and i'll see you all in my next video till then bye guys <laughs>